Hi, and welcome back to a new video on Python. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very cute small library called Missing NO. Maybe it's pronounced Missing No or Missing NO, I'm not really sure. In any case, this has to do with visualizing missing values. So in data analysis, we often use pandas to fill in missing values. However, pandas is not really that great at visualizing the missing values. And for this, we can use this missing NO library. So here I am at the GitHub homepage of missing NO. So here you can see the project. And there is also some information about the project here. So their description is, do you have a messy data set? Are you missing some values? The missing NO provides a small tool set of flexible and easy to use missing data visualizations and utilities that allow you to get a quick visual summary of the completeness, or in this case, the lack thereof of your data set. So here you can see that if we want to install this through pip, then you can just use pip install missing no and get started. So I will install it through Anaconda and then I will show you some of the most basic commands in this library. And actually, to be honest, the library is incredibly small. So I think the total number of Python lines is less than a thousand and they only really incorporate four different functions as far as I understand. So in this video, I'll talk about three of them, which is the three I think is the most important for you to know. So if you're also installing this through Anaconda, then here's a page for the missing NO package. I'll include the link in the description. And here you can see that you just have to run conda install dash C, conda forge missing NO. So open your Anaconda prompt, run this, and then you should have missing NO installed. The other libraries I will use are pandas and seaborn. And if you're using Anaconda through Jupyter Notebooks, then you should already have those installed. Here we are in a basically empty Jupyter Notebook. So I've just for convenience imported the packages that we need. This is Seaborn and Pandas and Missing NO. And they recommend to import Missing NO as MSNO. And that's also what I will do. Also we have this matplotlib inline command here that will essentially ensure us that the plots are just drawn immediately once we run a cell in Jupyter. So first we need a data set and I'm using Seaborn here, not really for visualizations, just to get a default data set. And I'll use the classic Titanic data set so that we have something to work on. So let me go down here and use Titanic and set this to be SNS and then use the command load data set. And here I can just pass in Titanic like this. So this will be loaded into the Titanic variable and this is a pandas data frame. So that means that I can use Titanic and then the info method to actually look at the missing values. So here you can see that we have 14 columns and you can see here the data types and so on. And you can also see how many non-zero values there are. And this is essentially what you can do by pandas alone. So this is okay, but it's not very visual. Now I'll use the missing NO library to get a much better visual understanding of the missing values. And the first thing you can do is to use a bar plot. So I'll use MSNO and then bar, and then I'll just simply call this on my data set. And here you can see that it's plotting, so let me just scroll down. This gives you a bar plot where each bar here represents one of the columns in your data frame. So here you have survived, like how many survived Titanic. Here you have the passenger class, the sex, the age, and so on. And here you can really see that there are essentially two major variables that are missing. It's the age of the passengers, where like roughly 20% of the values are missing. And over here you have the deck column, where essentially almost 70% is missing. You can also see here by the numbers that I think there are two things missing here on Embarked Town and two things also here on Embarked. But really, just looking at this, you get a much better understanding of what's really missing. So you're missing an enormous amount of data for deck and still a reasonably significant amount in the age column. And this depends really on application, but I would say maybe here that for the H column, you still have enough that this might be useful, maybe for prediction or for visualizations and so on. So you can fill in the remaining values here in a clever way and still get some usage out of it. However, for the deck column, it looks like you're missing so much that I don't think this will be useful at all. There is something more that we can take a look at than just a bar plot. It's essentially where the missing values are located. So this you can do with another command. So this is the command matrix. If you run the command matrix, then you get this here. It looks almost the same. Here we have the columns again, and here we have the missing values indicated by white. However, the difference here is that now you have some idea of how this is spread along. 
So it might be in some cases that there is just kind of one big clunk perhaps here that is all white. And in that case, that would mean that all the missing values are there. And if the rest is like filled in, that would mean that you're only missing values on the top part. This, not to confuse you, is not the case here. Here you can see that both for the deck column and for the age column, you're more or less missing values all over the place. Here you can also see more clearly that for the embark column and embark town, you're also missing two values. So with the bar plot we saw and this matrix plot, you get a good visual understanding of what's really missing. So I also want to show you a third command and this is the heat map command. So again, I go into my MSNO library and do the heat map command of Titanic. And this will give me something very interesting. So first of all, you can see here that we have some sort of heat map and that we only have four columns. So the only columns that are taken into this heat map are the columns that essentially are missing something. So this is age, embarked, deck, and embarked town. So the heat map does not represent how correlated the variables are, they represent how correlated the fact that having null values in one variable affect having null variables in the second one. So this is a bit of a mouthful to say, but here you can take an example. So here is one, it's totally correlated. If you know where the null values of embarked town are, that completely determines the null values of the embarked. And you can also see this up here, that these two are precisely the same. For the rest of the values, there are really small numbers. This is like 0.1 and minus 0.1. This could just be by chance and doesn't really signify anything major. I would say maybe here that the fact that age and deck is slightly positively correlated in this missing value sense would mean that if you have a passenger that you have recorded the age of, then it's more likely that you've also recorded the deck information of that passenger. However, these are so small that I wouldn't really put much emphasis into it. The heat map is a really great way of looking at missing values in different columns and how they affect each other. And really, these are the three functions you need to know. So learning missing NO is not like learning NumPy or learning pandas. This is really all you need to know is in this video. So here we have, just to recap, you have the bar command, you have the matrix command, and you have the heat map command. So just a few things before we end. For instance, here, sometimes your data set is so big, which is not the case here, it's like 800 observations, that you might not be able to fit all of it inside here. It might just be noise, essentially. So what you then can do is use the pandas function sample. Say you just want 250. This will sample 250 rows from your data set. And in this case, of course, uh, it's not really needed because we can easily fit all and that looks fine. But for big data sets, say in the hundreds of thousands or millions, you might need to sample it just to get something that you can actually visualize in a proper way. Typically the structure of a data science project is that you get your data and it's typically missing values, even way more than what you can see here in the Titanic data set. And you have to figure out what to do with the different columns. And you have to make some decisions what to do with missing values. So in some cases, like here, you might just want to drop it completely, while in other cases, you might want to impute it, essentially saying that you fill it in, in a proper way. And this is not the place of missing an O, this is the place of pandas. So here pandas comes back in full strength. Pandas is really great at handling missing values, it's not great at visualizing them. So if we go all the way down, just to show you a pandas example. So what you can then do is to take your Titanic and use the command fill an A. Now we're properly into just pandas territory. Here should fill with a value, and I also want to set the in place equals true, so that this persists. And the value I want to choose here, so one thing you could do is to go into your Titanic and then go into your age column and take the mean of all of the rest. Just set that specific value to everywhere you're missing a value. So this is something you can do. The mean function is great, it just ignores the missing values. So this runs hopefully fine, it doesn't run fine. The reason it doesn't work fine is because I chose the whole Titanic data set. That's a big mistake. I only want to fill in for the age column. So just to recap, I take the age column, I fill in values. They should be in place. And the value I want to fill in where something is missing is the mean of everything else. So now if I run this, this should be working fine. So after filling in some values, we can visualize it again. Let's go back to the MSNO. Let's just do a bar chart here and then use our Titanic. And here again, you can now see that we have no missing values for the age column. So the missing NO library is also great for just checking that yes, we have actually filled in values where we wanted to. Okay, so I hope you like this. I use this missing NO library quite a lot and it's great for just seeing the missing values. So if you like our content then consider subscribing and I'll see you again in a future video.